Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demo, I will explain how you can create a reminder flow for calendar events, and I'll use a SharePoint calendar called Meetings as an example. SharePoint calendar apps have an alert feature that sends reminders, but it gives no link to the event. Therefore, a flow is more convenient once you've created it. Here, I will first create an event that will occur today, in the afternoon. The flow will send me an email reminder for it, with the event title, start time, description, and a link to the event. Let's go over to the Power Automate site. I'll start from scheduled from blank. I want this reminder to be sent to me every morning, so I'll set the frequency to once a day. Power Automate converts times to UTC, and this is something that you need to consider if it's important what time of day the flow is scheduled. Here I want the flow to be run at 7 in the morning, so that I get the reminders when I start working. When I open the advanced options in the trigger, I can set my time zone UTC plus 1. Now the flow must get all the items from the meetings list. For that I'll use the action SharePoint Get Items. After that, I'll add an apply to each action that loops through all of the events. The output should be the dynamic content value from the get items action. I only want today's events, so I'll add a condition action for the loop and use an expression to find today's events. The first part of the condition should be to find the substring. In this case, the start time and the current item from the meetings list. The user interface name for the column that should be checked is start time, but event date is the internal name, and that is what we must use in expressions. Now I'll add 0 and 10 for the beginning and end of the substring to say that the flow should look at the first 10 characters in the date. We don't want the whole time here. We just want the condition to check the date and you'll soon see that I'll give it as 10 characters. Now we have the expression that looks for the start time in each item. Next, we must define that the start time should be equal to today. The expression for that is UTC now and the ISO format for the date string. Now you see that it has 10 characters. If this condition is true, the flow will send a reminder but that reminder must show the correct time for my local time zone. Therefore, I will add an action that converts time zone before the action that sends the email. The base time is the dynamic content for start time from the get items action. The source time is UTC and destination time zone is my local time. I will also add the format here. Now I can add the action that sends the email reminder. In the to field I'll add myself, but you can of course create a similar flow for any other person. In the email subject I'll have meeting reminder hard-coded and then the dynamic content title from the get items action. I will add the rest of the information in the email body. Converted time, the event description, and the item link. I've found that the hyperlink feature in the editor of the send an email version 2 does not work very well yet, so I'll add the HTML code instead to have a nice looking clickable link. Important is by default set to low for these emails, but I'll change it to normal for the reminder emails. 
Now it's time to test the flow. You don't have to wait for the actual time to occur to test the flow that runs on a schedule. You can use the test button as usual. I created an event for this afternoon when I started the demo, so the flow should uh, send me a reminder for it, and here it is. The details are there and the link works. Thank you for watching this demo.